The Astro A40 mix amp is one of the most popular, I would say, auxiliary devices that gamers use because the Astro A40s themselves are really popular gaming headphones. Uh, the mix amp is an incredible tool. It's a decent amplifier and it gives you some really unique tools, but ultimately the A40s sound best when they're running through the mix amp. So in this video, we're gonna discuss how to connect your Go XLR to your Astro A40 mix amp. So there's a few things to know ahead of time about this. Um, you will not get the same experience using the mix amp with Go XLR as you would just using the mix amp. And what I mean by that is when you're sending audio over USB, you can use Dolby Digital Surround Sound, you can do additional EQs and, uh, and, and different sound profiles to uh, get certain sounds out of the mix amp. You won't be doing that with the A40 mix amp and Go XLR. Instead, really what the mix amp is doing is just properly driving your headphones to an acceptable volume so you uh, can hear everything uh, really well. That being said, the headphone output on Go XLR is really quite good. Um, they're definitely, the jury is out on how important or if uh, this virtualized surround sound is important at all. Generally speaking, most professional gamers aren't using surround sound headphones or aren't even using uh, virtualized surround sound. Instead, they're using stereo, and most games are optimized positional audio for stereo. So the, the idea that um, using you know Dolby Atmos is anything more than like a theatrical experience is... I would say largely considered a myth at this point, um, but there are very few games that can take advantage of it. So to set up the Astro A40 mix amp, you're going to need a few different pieces. Of course, first and foremost, you need the USB cable that came with your Astro A40 mix amp. Uh, this is just to provide power. You're not actually going to be sending any audio to or from your computer via this. You could actually technically plug it into anything, I suppose, but I would plug it into your computer because the A40 command center, the Astro command center, is going to uh, allow you to raise and lower your auxiliary volume, I believe. At least the last time I used it. I haven't used this setup in a long time. I used a pair of stereo studio headphones now. Uh, but you're going to need this for power, for sure. The second thing you're going to need is a ground loop isolator. So this is just a little short guy. Let's see if I can get that in front of my face. There you go. Uh, that is going to remove any buzzing or hissing noise that happens when you, when you connect two different devices that are running to the same ground in your home. There's a chance to create a ground loop, which can... Uh, manifests as some static noise, some little tick, 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 ticking noises. Uh, it's something that's definitely good to have. And these are really cheap on Amazon. They're eight to 10 bucks. Totally worth it. And then last but not least, you need a standard auxiliary 3.5 millimeter cable. Uh, the biggest thing to note is that these have, and I probably can't get it to zoom in here. There you can. These have the two black pins right here. Uh, that's TRS is what it is called. You want a TRS connection in this case. So that's the three different cables you need. Of course, combined with the mix amp, let's talk about how to plug them in. First, what you're going to do is you're going to plug the uh, TRS cable into the headphone jack on the Go XLR. So if you're on the mini, that's the green port in the front. If you're on the full size Go XLR, it's the green port on the back. The other end of the 3.5 millimeter cable is going to go into the ground loop isolator. And then finally, the short end of the ground loop isolator is going to go into the aux input on the A40 mix amp. So just like that is how it's going to run. Few things to note. I do believe the power needs to be on here. Do that here. Power needs to be on here. None of these two settings right here, these two buttons, the Dolby button and the 
uh, different EQ buttons are going to affect the sound coming into the aux. So there is no right or wrong setting here. And I keep this right at 12 o'clock. I don't believe in the end it actually matters. Um, now what you do on the Go XLR is I like to keep the headphone volume set to 100% in the Go XLR app. And then I use this here, the, the big volume knob, to adjust where I need additionally above what the Go XLR is outputting. The only thing to check, there's actually, well, actually there's two things to check. The first thing is to check in the your Windows settings and make sure that they're all set to Go XLR devices for your sound settings. So even though you're running audio through the A40 mix amp, it doesn't change any of your Windows settings at all. And this is really important. If you end up sending audio through your A40s and not through your Go XLR, which can be difficult to tell, right? Because you have audio coming over your USB and you have audio coming, or you can have audio going over your USB and you can have audio going over the 3.5 millimeter connection on the mix amp. It's really difficult for you to exactly know where it's coming from there. So you need to make sure that your Windows devices are set up correctly. And that's just like all of the videos that we've posted for you on the TC Helicon Gaming channel. That's all of the videos and uh, all the screenshots that are in the TC Helicon Discord. Uh, you do not use the Astro A40s as an input or output in Windows, and I cannot emphasize this enough. This is where most people get it wrong, is they set it up in Windows at, to go through their A40s, and then it doesn't show up in their OBS stream, or they're not able to control it up and down with the fader. So please, 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 I just took almost a whole minute out of the video to tell you set up your go xlr just like normal pretend like this doesn't exist from a software side you're only using this to provide additional power to your a40 headphones the other last thing to check is in the astro command center app there is a uh, a ui page that lets you uh, determine how loud uh, different inputs and outputs are it's kind of its own little mixer make sure to turn that up uh, for the aux um, so that the aux in there's going to be different ones none of the other ones matter in fact you could probably mute it just so you don't get confused of where that audio is coming from but you want to make sure that the aux connection is turned up properly uh, besides that that's really it you'll notice i did use an old Astro A40 mix amp. This is the exact same concept on the new Astro A40 mix amp. I just don't own one. But other than that, that's how you set these up. It's really straightforward and simple. Probably doesn't warrant a video this long, but I wanted to make sure that we discussed all the caveats and all the different things that can go wrong because uh, if you're not really sure what you're doing and why the connections are the way they are, it's really easy to get one of those really simple settings wrong. So that's it. Thanks for watching the video and good luck.